host, Mr. Russell, for this week. You know, this is where we're feeding your faith to starve your doubts. So let's get to the word. We're coming from Romans, 4th chapter, 18th through the 25th verse. And it reads, Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed, and so became the father of many nations. Just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about 100 years old and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. This is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The words it was credited to him were written not for him alone, but also for us to whom God will credit righteousness. For us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. He was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Oh, people of God, this is, this is a good text right here. Because it begins by saying, against all hope, the Bible tells us that Abraham in hope believed and became the father of many nations. Against all hope, Against everything that another person wouldn't believe in, Abraham took God at his word. He took God at his word even knowing that he shouldn't be able to be able to have kids or that his wife would have kids. But he believed in God so much that he had faith that whatever God had said was going to happen was going to happen for him. Now the question of the day is, do you take God at his word or do you have some doubt? Because the Bible tells us that if we speak to the mountain and tell it to be thou removed and cast into the sea and shall not doubt, we shall have what we say. And that mountain will be moved into the sea. See, the main thing there is you shouldn't have doubt. Here is Abraham, 100 years old. Sarah is old. Her womb is dead. But Abraham believed what God said was going to happen. And lo and behold, it happened. God said, you're going to be the father of many nations. And Abraham held on to God's word, held on to God's promise. And just like that, he has become the father of many nations. So I say to you today, are you going to keep doubting what God can do? Or are you going to keep believing in what God said he can do? See, it might not happen tomorrow. It might not happen next week. It might not happen next month. But you do know when God shows up, everything will be all right. Because we all know that there is no secret to what God can do. Because see, if he did it for you before, what makes you think he won't do it for you again? We all have to stand on God's word, no matter the situation, no matter what we hear, no matter what people say about us, we got to stay planted. And all we got to do is come right back to the word and read about Abraham, how he just stood on God's word no matter how long it took. And if that's not a, better, a good example for you, let's think about the Hebrew slaves in Egypt. How long did they believe that God was going to deliver them from Pharaoh? How long? And many of them didn't see that them get delivered. They had already passed on, but they kept believing. Everybody that was left kept believing. And soon God sent Moses to deliver his people from Pharaoh. So, I say to you today, are you going to stand on God's word? Or are you going to keep faltering and doubting? If I were you, come what may, 
I'm going to believe in everything that God has promised for me. Well, we're not out of word, but we're out of time. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Daily Mail, where we're feeding your faith and starving your doubts. Be blessed.